that everyone has a safe and peaceful environment in which to express uh, their viewpoint. For the RNC police and philosophy, we've been very, very successful in the city of Tampa and Hillsborough County as well in crime reduction. We changed the way we police at the Tampa Police Department uh, just about 10 years ago. And as a result, we have reduced crime by 64.3% in the city of Tampa. And the one statistic, uh, you know, <laughs> the one statistic that I'm very proud of as well, and I think really shows the reduction, is a 90%, over 90% reduction in auto theft in the city of Tampa. And we have done that through a number of aspects. One is our relationship with the community, working together to make this a safe environment. He's in a dog's life. <laughs> We've got everybody trained to be a part of this. But um, one of the, uh, the cornerstones of that is our community-oriented policing philosophy. In the Tampa Police Department, it's not a bureau, it's not a division, it's a way of life. It's the way we go about it, engaging with the community to make sure that um, uh, everyone has a safe neighborhood. That's the philosophy we're going to use for the RNC. We have the event zone, which I think everyone is familiar with. And within that area, we've broken it down into four geographic zones. Each of those zones will be headed by a commander from the Tampa Police Department or from the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. And then within the downtown area, we've broken that into smaller geographic areas, several block zones that the officers will be assigned to throughout the RNC. So if you live or work downtown or are visiting downtown, you'll see the same officers throughout the RNC. And you'll get used to them, you'll get to know them, you'll you know, be able to approach them, ask them questions, get information, and in turn, the officers will be able to know the geographic area, know what belongs, know who belongs, know what's suspicious and what's out of the ordinary. So we believe that will work very, very well for us. Obviously, we have the ability to expand and contract within that. If we have crowd issues in a certain area, we'll have officers to, uh, to send into that. Now, I know everyone loves our dark blue 100% polyester uniforms. <laughs> Especially in the summer, people will tell me I'll be standing outside and they'll, they'll say, well, that uniform looks hot. And I'm like, no, not at all. It's a sweat <laughs> But we have gone to a uh, tan khaki uniform that you see a lot of the officers dressed in, and you'll see some photographs here in a second. We did that for two reasons. One is, it's a cotton uniform, it's lighter in color, it's cooler for the officers. And heat is probably going to be the biggest issue that we already see. So it's more comfortable, cooler for the officers, and it also has a friendlier look to it. It's more approachable. Uh, the citizens of visitors will feel a little more comfortable coming up to the officers, asking them questions, and uh, engaging with them, and that's what we want. Now, the turtle gear, you'll see that. That's what the uh, officers affectionately call the crowd management gear, and you'll be able to see that as well in a photograph and then in uh, real life. We hope that you don't see that or it's very limited use during the RNC. But that's a reality of things like events of this magnitude when, we, when you have so many people coming here uh, to demonstrate in the city of Tampa. Again, it's our job, the vast majority of the individuals that are coming here to demonstrate and express their divergent viewpoints are going to do so peacefully. But there is a small contingent that's coming here that is bent on disruption and destruction. And those are the individuals that we are going to pay attention to. Another cornerstone of our crime redu reduction success has been our sense of urgency. We go at everything. There's no such thing as a minor crime in the city of Tampa, and there's no delayed response to anything. We investigate immediately and all the way through to the conclusion, successful conclusion of that investigation, so that things don't turn into patterns. You don't have 20 or 30 auto burglaries before you recognize a pattern. And that's the same thing here, is that we're going to go at this with a sense of urgency. Identify those individuals that are going to be the troublemakers in a crowd and get them out of the crowd as quickly as we can so that we can restore that, that um, peaceful environment in which people will be able to express their viewpoints. This is the uniform that you'll be uh, seeing every day out there uh, in the streets in downtown Tampa. And then this is the crowd management uh, here. 